Okay, I'm probably going to call this video Eco Flow Stream versus N Phase. Yes, I'm talking about microinverters. I love microinverters, many reasons. I like the fact that the power is not DC, it's taken to AC straight away. I like the fact I can have them dotted all over the garden and different roofs, and it's easy to get the power back. When I wanted microinverters, really, there was only one company, and that was Enphase, and they really are the gold standard for, for microinverters. So why have I uh, bought EcoFlow? Enphase, in their wisdom, these are the IQ7s, they brought out the IQ8, and you can't mix them on the same controller. So this is the IQ7 Plus. It's working on these solar panels. Those solar panels are 340 watts, and the IQ7 Plus was rated at 295 VA, so it was a it was a, a nice mix. It meant that they were working at the at the upper levels when they're more efficient, and they have been excellent. No failures, and the ones on the side of the house are working right under the panels and are getting very high temperatures. So, nothing against that. Let's, before we look at the um, EcoStream, another good reason. If I look at the um, equivalent, the highest power IQ8 from Enphase is the IQ8 HC72. Now, um, one of the companies that sells them at a reasonable price is called Trade Sparky, and their price today is £169.94. That's something that looks just like this, and it is one microinverter, £169, basically £170. This two 400 watt microinverters in the same enclosure, £99. Well, it's got to be worth looking at. First thing about it, it's incredibly heavy. I was expecting something plasticky to arrive. Starting guide, installation parts, and here it is. Okay, two inputs for two, um, two panels. And this is the, the power output plug here. And I guess this is a little antenna for the, the network. I have to say, it's die cast aluminium. It's incredibly heavy. It actually looks beautifully made. I can't fault it. Yeah, roughly twice the size, but of course it's got two inverters as well. At the moment, looking at it, 99 pounds, looks good value. Now the other thing I did, I went online and I downloaded the app. There's two apps there, but I downloaded EcoFlow Power A New World. Um, I put it on my machine and that's perfect. It's come up EcoFlow and it's asking me to add a device or a system. And I can see it on the bottom here, PowerStream, which is one of these. Okay, so how am I going to test um, the two the two items. Well, if you look behind me, those two panels, they're Viridian panels rated at 340 watts. I can look back historically and they generate almost the same power. The one on the left, a few more watts in a day. So what I've done is I've removed the IQ7 Plus from the second one, from the right hand one, and I'm going to install this in its place. Then over the next week or so, I'm going to watch and see if the difference in power, which is, I can work out the percentage difference between the two of them at the moment, and let's see how it copes. So where I'm putting it is actually, I'm giving it a disadvantage. Okay, so I'm now gonna get on and install this, and I'll let you know how easy it is to set up. I nearly forgot what's in the other box. Okay, it's the, it's the cables for the solar panels. And, wow, it's quite a nice long cable, and it's a good quality cable. And I guess this is going to connect onto here. It does. And this will then be wired into the same place as I had the IQ7. Very nice. It feels great quality. Okay, what do I make of the quick start guide? <laughs> Very simple. 
Um, basically, you mount it. I've just put mine temporary. It comes with roll plug and substantial screws. Safety precautions, wear PPE, etc. Um, positioning, that's fine. Mounting, that's fine. Very simple. Um, connecting, basically, connect your panels in. You've got cables. I'm using existing cables. And the power cable. If you're doing this as a DIY, uh, a balcony type installation, you would just plug that into a power socket. Um, mine is going into a network, so um, I've connected into that, I isolated it, I've got a breaker in each one of these, so I isolated it and I connected it in. Um, it shows you how to do that as well, it tells you you should use a qualified electrician if you're going to do that. Um, download the EQFlow app and bind your microinverter for smart control. That's it. Okay, I'm now going to try and buy, I, I'm going to switch it on. I'm going to try and bind my microinverter. Very simple. Okay, let's see how easy it is to pair this thing up. Stream microinverter. One device found. Microinverter 0213. That seems to have, that seems to have done it. If I click on that device, does it do anything? Okay. It says I need to set it up on Wi-Fi. I'll just go and get the password and I'll do that now. Well, this whole process was incredibly simple. It really is a good DIY product. I know I've, I've connected into my power system, but if you just plug it into the mains, it's, it's just so simple. The, the app is lovely. Um, you can see the power being generated coming into my system at the moment 134 watts I mean, the sun is quite low in the sky but there's 134 watts coming out of that second panel now i can't do an easy comparison with the iq7 because i can't see the power all the time from them it updates every 12 minutes so that's a, a, another negative for the iq set this is showing me what's happening at this moment so far Brilliant. The only thing that can go wrong here is if it's not reliable or if it is less efficient and I get less power out of it. Um, but considering the sun is low in the sky, it's a 340 watt panel. It's telling me I'm at the moment generating 148 watts, which I would say is very reasonable. Anyway, I'm going to end this video here. There will be a part two um, in a couple of days time when I've had more chance to um, to work with this. I do have to say that I'm very enthusiastic about this product so don't be fooled into thinking maybe I got them for free or whatever. I bought these, I bought this through Amazon and I also bought the solar panels um, through Amazon my own money. So I'm not representing anybody. I'm giving this is a totally fair review and there we are 157 watts coming out of the panel at this moment. When I've got the ones at the top done let's see how much more power we get. For a DIY person, two panels on your balcony, plug this thing in the mains and off you go. Brilliant.